Hi, this is Samantha and I've got a tutorial for you today on a fun new technique using alcohol inks and you are going to create a plaid background with alcohol inks. And there's a bunch of different ways floating around out there on how to do this. I'm going to show you the way I like best and that I found easiest. For it you're going to need your um, your blending tool with a foam pad, or I'm sorry, a felt pad, not a foam pad. So they come in a pack like this, and you'll just need one of those, and you need a brand new clean felt pad on there. And you'll need anywhere, oh, between three and five um, colors of alcohol ink that go together, that you like how they look when they go together. Here I use three colors. Um, the one I'm going to show you today, I used I'm going to use four colors and I've also done it with five colors and that looks really cool. I, I kind of found that the more colors you use the more I seem to like it. Today I've got four colors, um, two that are fairly similar. I've got pool and stream that are both blues and then I'm setting those off with orange and red with um, sunset orange and red pepper. What you're going to do is start with your first color and you're going to put a drop of alcohol ink and I like to start on one side and just work my way over and I can leave my tops off right now sorry about that and this is the most time-consuming part of this whole process and what I'm doing is picking up my um, alcohol inks and putting them down in the same order so I don't have to try and remember what order I had them in. As you can see my circles are not perfect, they're not exact. If one is a little bit bigger than the others that's okay too. And you're going to repeat this process until you've got it all the way across. And you're going to try not to drip everywhere like I'm doing. Um, when you're not doing it while trying to film it, it's a little bit easier not to make a mess like I'm currently doing. As you'll see, that's oh not going to be ideal. Um, and I also got some alcohol ink right on my paper right now, so that's not great either. But we'll work around it for now. When you're doing it, you'll be a little bit more careful. And you're going to have alcohol inks all the way across. Once you've got this, it's really simple. You're just going to take your felt pad and you're going to swipe it down your paper as straight as you can go. And you just keep repeating. And you just start again next to it. And you'll push them all the way down. Then you rotate your paper and you do it again. And if you work quickly enough, pardon my fingers, if you work quickly enough, you don't even need to re-ink. And it's that simple. You've got a really cool plaid then out of just about any colors you want. You can do this for babies or for weddings and you can customize the backgrounds. I've seen this done in like a light blue and yellow um, mixed colors for a plaid that looks really fun um, for babies. I mean you can pretty much do anything with it. You can use it like a regular pattern piece of paper for layering up or you can um, use that as kind of your focal point and just do a little bit of stamping on it. I uh, stamped and embossed that thanks in white embossing powder, threw on a little washi tape and a epoxy dot, and you've got a card. Um, the only thing I think I forgot to mention here is that this is glossy cardstock. You're going to want glossy cardstock. It works better with alcohol inks. Um, it allows them to sort of slide on and travel. Otherwise, um, you won't get that same sort of blending plaid. And it's that simple. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments if you have them. Thanks for stopping by today.